it's December 1st, and I'm in the Bahamas interviewing my Uncle John. Um, what was it like growing up with my mommy? Your mommy, uh, my sister Rebecca, uh, was one of my best friends growing up. And we went to the same school and we were in the same singing groups and we had a lot of the same friends and went to the same parties. Um, and because of that, we were really, really close. And sometimes we would get in fights together uh, with each other. Um, but if either one of us were ever in trouble, uh, she was always the one who would help me and support me and I was always the one that would help her and support her. So she was one of my best friends growing up and we had a lot of fun together. yourself as a child? I was very happy. I was a little bit of a geek. Uh, I loved school and computers and computers were not even a big thing at that point uh, and I loved it um, and I loved studying and I loved math and I loved having a, I had a small group of friends that I was really close with and my best friend Mark lived about a five minute bike ride away. So I got to spend a lot of time with my best friend and see him almost every day. Uh, so I was very happy growing up. Okay, um, who has been the biggest influence in your life? I think the biggest influence in my life was my father, uh, J3. Um, he was always very thoughtful, uh, a good businessman and would always try to do what was right. Um, and he never ran into action too quickly. He would always sort of think things through before doing something. Uh, and he's taught me how to be a good person. Okay. Are there some funny stories that your family tells about you? Well, I don't think I did anything funny. I was very, very normal, but my family definitely thinks I did some crazy things. Um, when I was uh, young, actually when I was about your age, I used to sleep with about a hundred stuffed animals in my bed and a hundred different lovies and I would arrange them in the same way every night uh, with you know my big bear Steven here uh, and then like they all had their little spot and then I had a place for my head right in the middle. And sometimes my parents would come in to kiss me goodnight and they couldn't find me in this big mess of all these stuffed animals. And they tried so many things to get me to not sleep with a hundred stuffed animals. Uh, you know, from, hey, let's, let's take some away some nights, let's have some sleep on the top bunk. Oh yeah, I had bunk beds. And I always said that um, it'd be great when I got married, my wife could sleep on the top bunk and I'd sleep on the bottom bunk and we'd live with my parents forever. And they always thought that was pretty funny too. <laughs> okay, and last question, what is how would you like to be remembered? I want to, that's a hard question. That's very deep. I want to be remembered as someone who is happy and fun, uh, who is a caring and loving person, uh, who would do anything for his family and friends. Um, and I try to think about that in how I live my life, because if you do, if you support your family and friends, then I think that makes you a pretty good person. Okay.